Hello everyone, welcome to NASAC YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to update Pertainer again. I do have a couple other videos to update the Pertainer. This is the one. Uh, the reason why I make this video is I got uh, one question from my audience to asking the Pertainer port issue and uh, he has a problem to access the port 9000. I just want to give a quick troubleshooting process to see what's wrong here and show the upgrade process again in this video. If you haven't watched my previous video, you can take a look at this blog post. I will put a link in the video to show you update process and explain a little bit how to do the update. This is going to be my test container. Right now I have version 2.6.2. I'm gonna get it upgrade to latest one, 2.9. Okay, let's start it. Again, as, as you can see from the screen, our pertainer is running on 2.6.2. .2. The release is 2.9.0. There's a bunch of changes you may want to review it before you starting to upgrade it. You also want to check out the CE 2.9 upgrading manual. So here, basically, that's the command we're going to use. Docker stop, docker m, docker pull, and then docker run. Basically, four commands. And running on Ubuntu 20.04. I have a bunch of um, dockers running on this machine. So, this is a container I created seven weeks ago. One question coming from that audience is about the port number. He didn't see any port number 9000 when he started the pertainer. So just make sure you start your pertainer with the right command and also make sure 9000 hasn't been used. So if you want to check which port has been used, you can use net, net state dash NAT command. Then you will see all TCP port shows here. 9000 has been used because we are using. Just before you start your pertainer docker, just make sure the 9000 has not been occupied. So now we're going to stop pertainer docker, remove docker, and pull latest one, and run the docker command again. If you are not sure, I please check the video description. I will post this link. Follow those four commands. You should be fine to get it upgraded. Docker stop pertainer. Doc remove pertainer. Doc pull latest pertainer. After that, just do run pertainer command. Then you should be able to get this latest pertainer docker upgraded into your docker environment. Let's uh, refresh our pertainer web page and see which version we're getting right now. So right now I'm getting this error message. Basically, the engine X reverse proxy probably need to be restarted as well because I'm using my own domain for that. Uh, so I'm going to use um, IP to access to it, which is also working fine. Just get it logged in. So right now you can see it has been upgraded 2.9.0.
Let's restart our engine X. There's one thing we need to change is engine X. I have to join it to my own network. So that's gonna make it working. So let's give it try again. Refresh the page. So now it's fully working. My partner has been joined into two networks. So if you have same settings, you may want to make that change before you get your engine X works for your reverse proxy. So that's all for this video. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you.